because it's already a currency and it's gold. So if there was a 10 to 1, you have to assume that it would already be reflected in the price of gold. So gold wouldn't be $1,000 an ounce, it would be 10000 And it would not correct downward. It wouldn't do anything. It would probably stay there. And any country that wanted to go back to a gold standard would have to use at least $8,000 to $8, an ounce as a basis to their monetization, which would actually make it easy for them, easier for them uh, to uh, set up a gold-backed currency. This came in from a gentleman, a quote from the Hidden Persuaders by Vance Packard. Quote is, as a nation, we are already so rich that consumers are under no pressure of immediate necessity to buy a large share, perhaps as much as 40% of what is produced, and the pressure will get progressively less in the years ahead. But if consumers exercise their option not to buy a large share of what is produced, a Great Depression is not far behind. And uh, that was October 24th, 1955 issue of advertising aids by an executive of McGraw Hill Publishing. I was I majored in advertising in college and uh, minored in uh, business administration. And the Northeast is, was one of the few schools that had a uh, program at that time for advertising. Uh, and uh, I read the book and the books by Ross Reeves of that time and many others and uh, this guy was a giant in the industry. And um, they learned late in the 1930s how to twist people's minds by using propaganda. Uh, about the same time, uh, a fellow named Goebbels did the same thing in Germany. And uh, uh, it, it's a very good book if you can get a hold of a copy. Uh, it's dated, of course, but uh, it's the basic philosophy of consumption. Another question then is um, Richard Russell thinks with all the talk about gold 2000 and 3000 that there will be a correction in gold for several months. What say you? Uh, Richard Russell has been wrong just about about everything. Him and Bob Prechter ought to get together and make the Russell, Russell, Russell Prechter report. Uh, there are a couple of real winners. I see people quoting them all the time and uh, I, I rather get sick of it. And um, uh, this mystique. Uh, Richard Russell has never been pro-gold, and uh, Prechter is anti-gold. And um, uh, everybody who has said that gold is going to go down has been wrong. Everybody. That includes Gary North a year ago, $500 gold. Mike Balsa, same thing same time, Jerome Corsi reported that. I was really surprised he didn't call me and ask me before he did that because it was dumb. And um, and um, the editor of a now defunct publication, Tim Wood, uh, he said the same thing. And they were all dead wrong. And then you got all these chartists and... and uh, and uh, Wavis and Cyclists, and they've all been wrong. I mean, you can't project things in a market that's controlled by manipulation and politics. You just can't. You throw all that stuff out the window. It doesn't work. And Russell is wrong. And he's been wrong over and over again. Nobody ever calls him on it. I mean, in the last 35 years, Precht has been right, right once. I give up. My publication's been right for 20 years, over 95% of the time. I don't have an ego problem, but they do. And... uh that's why they make such pronouncements. 
contrarian thinking. Yeah, give me a break. You might call it shotgunning. So I disagree. We're not going to see 500 or $700 gold. It's absurd. On a fundamental basis, look at what's going on out there. I mean, the world is in deep hurt. Incidentally, gold's up a dollar eighty, silver's up thirteen cents for your edification in the asset, asset access market. Thought you might like to know that, but anyway, that's my opinion on Russell and lower gold prices. I, I get tired of it because they have to answer all these emails that well, Richard Russell said uh, this is going to happen. And I said, well, good. Go and subscribe to his publication and follow him. Don't follow me. I do this to have fun. What do you think about uh, Obama's uh, uh, commitment to uh, extend Iraq withdrawal timetable? I guess they're bringing, what, bringing them, some of them home to 2010. 50,000 troops are going to stay. That's disgraceful. Why should 50,000 troops stay there permanently? He's doing the same thing Bush did. Our new president lied. He's a liar. And the troops that come home are going to be recycled in three or six months into Afghanistan. Come on, give me a break. They're attacking everything that moves in Pakistan. That's next. And then comes Bangladesh and India. And then comes Iran. And then comes a draft, a selective service draft for your children and your grandchildren so they can go get slaughtered under the orders of Obama. Come on. Wake up, America. No difference. He takes orders from the same people. Just got a different label. Same game, different team. Yeah, they have to keep some action over there with the, what, a billion dollar embassy they built over there. You never see any pictures of that floating around on, on mainstream media. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. And... We're going to float. We're about ready to float out of here. It is uh, almost 5 o'clock on a Friday evening, and we do appreciate each and every one of you joining us. Time flies when you are having fun. And, uh, again, thank you for joining us. And for a complimentary issue to the International Forecaster, give us a call at 1-800-375-4188. And, of course, for all your gold and silver coin needs, we have great prices. Uh, great advice on the coins that you should be purchasing. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I, I hear I bought from here, and boy, do I regret it. So eliminate that regret. Just give us a call at 1-800-375-4188. That's 800-375-4188. We'll be back on Monday. So you guys out there have a safe weekend. Be safe, and good night. Good night, Bob. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.